got somebody shoving me into the wall. What? What is that? What are you doing? There's no way. Oh my god. Oh, f it out. So how much quicker Dylan's here, was Dylan's here, yeah, Dylan, Dylan's here. Dylan's arrived. We've seen Dylan already. Teleported here. Yeah, we saw <laughs> Dylan already. But what I, not point, not one quicker than you not did again. Point, not one, yeah, so you were 112.39 with an ideal of the 12.09. Mine's a 112.40, uh, but my, I only had two laps in that, to, in that session, yeah. so. Basically, I'm faster. Yeah, it's basically it, man. Yeah. I'll find some excuses in a bit. Literally, two brain cells rather than that. Well there. Yeah. <laughs> you know how it's walked? We cut gasket at a 45 degree angle, overlapped it and it fits. It's absolutely wow. genius. So if the turbo falls off, it's that man's fault. There, wait. <laughs> that man's. It's always my fault. Anyway. We'll have a look at what we had to do and what problems from oh, yesterday yeah, in a bit. my session sent Dylan out he's got 18 minutes left I could have stayed out another couple of laps 12 2 so that was I think the quickest that car had gone this weekend but it could definitely go a bit quicker yeah I don't think we're gonna get to here yeah I don't think we'll get to that we could probably get there surprise Scott's still behind anyway see what happens Oh no, we're down to fifth now, but we'll see how we get on there.
gonna get though. position with Dylan, knocked a tenth off my time which I'm glad about, not a bad starting spot that. Yeah, quality is over, getting the full reprep. You see this is Scott's car for him. Shiny, shiny! So, yeah, go over everything, clean all the wheels, check everything tight, check all the cam belts, check all that stuff, got a little inspection all here. Have a little oh, look. Oh, it looks okay. That is just a join in the belt, don't worry. The belt gets very hot. Yeah. Very hot. So yeah, we're uh, just working his way through now. Nothing much to do with this. I think we might put a bit more camber on the left front. Um, Scott's yeah, had a mysterious power loss issue and no faults in the ECU. So we're going to have to look through all the logs now. That's what Tom's just doing. There we go, just looking in the logs. So when did it figure out what happens? We'll figure that out now. So we're all set then for the first race of the afternoon, the Tikiwa Club Enduro Championship. It's a two hour race around the international circuit here at Silverton. And before 15 minutes from the end of the race, it has to be a three minute stationary stop but certain drivers have penalty as a result of success in previous races. Those include Scott Parkin with 30 seconds. If after three rounds of the championship, it's Ashmore and Samuel Dennis. A perfect record in Class C means that they're leading the championship on 48 points. Then it is in second place on 32 points, Scott Parkin. Third on 31 points, it's the Will Puttigill Chris Nylon car. And those three cars that we've mentioned all from three different classes. Race about to get underway though. The red lights are on the gantry. They go out now and the race gets underway and it's that MX-5 that is on the inside line that qualified on pole position that's been started there by Alan Henderson that leads the way into Abbey for the first time. A great sight, 38 cars that we have starting this Tagiwa Club Enduro Championship race that's going to be going on for the next two hours and it is still Alan Henderson leading from Scott Parkin as they make their way down towards the village hairpin. lost out of position. I think that's Simon Major, isn't it? That's it got up into Major. second position, yep. who won the road sports race uh, solo yesterday. He's sharing the driving today with Justin Middleton, but he's got ahead of Scott Parkin, who's gone down to third position.
later, it's Henderson number 10, number 90, as you said, that leads from 18 Southern Major in second place. Number one, Scott Parkin is third, 117. Ian James is fourth, Ryan Parkin. Number six is in fifth place. The Martinson Fluid on track, MX5 gone. Yeah, yeah. He's running where at the moment? In 11th position. The leader's in trouble. Oh dear, that's a shame. That's the Alan Henderson car. Well, we've seen before that it's a very fast car but can be fragile. Oh, there's a car, don't need to gravel. Window open, yeah. Yeah, stop it. No, it's not open yet. Okay. You can't try and stay out of dirty air, it's getting a bit warm. So he's still a major leader, but only by four tenths of a second from Scott Parkin in second place. Ah, uh, Ryan getting on. He's fourth. Fourth. Who's it from? That compact. Yeah. Did you see me slide in turn one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was more opposite lot than I wanted to have on. <laughs> in scoots the Renault again. And here is our race leader then, Simon Major. But uh, look at that, the, uh, the dark side developments, Audi TT of Scott Parkin right up his chuff and uh, he's not going to let go. Now there's a bit of a gap there, you can see Ian Jones and the BMW Compact just ducking out from behind one of the other cars and Ryan Parkin trying to do lightweights, they were behind some slower cars weren't they? Change of lead, yes, a change of lead down there. So it's Scott Parkin that's got ahead of uh, Simon Major. So a very good restart for the Dark Side Developments car, Marcus. One of these Class B cars, Class A power. There in the pits is Scott Parkin then from the lead of the race. So this will be for a mandatory stop. It'll be three minutes and 30 seconds in, the, in his case. He is a solo driver, so he's not going to uh, have to uh, sort of change drivers or anything like that.
MS5's broke down. Copy. Jesus. Four abreast coming up here towards uh, Small Zabby. Including Scott Parkin, who's now back out into the race then in that number one car. That was awful. He had somebody pushing him from over the side, I think. I'm coming in. Yeah, I'm here. So more than half of the race to go for, for Dylan Briggs. Oh, and a spin for Scott Parkin in the background there. Scott Parkin has spun at the exit of the link and he is able to get the car turned around. Oh, that's very strange. It looks to be all on his own as well. Fine. There's no hanging off. You're, you're all right. You can just clip your wheel. This Cooper behind me, is that the position? Yeah, and that's major, and it's uh, Dylan Brick too, isn't it? They're basically, they are three laps apart, those two. Uh, but they're now Brick to getting in between the two much, race leaders. Much room left there, was that? Not a lot. It's almost like Brick was battling for position here. Well, no, but he will survive. I'm having to turn with that. Two o'clock to the left. Stop it. Right, I'm down here now in the number six goes the Audi TT. Ryan Parkin is here just out of the car. Ryan, how was that stint for you? Because you ended up third overall after that. Yeah, sweaty. But yeah, it was good. It was I think that was as quick as the car were gonna go. I will try my best to manage the tires, because these your camera tires are the quickest ones you can get, but you've really got to be careful not to overeat them and they just go crazy. Um, yeah, managing them, we, I wanted a bit more camber this morning, but the guys, we know testing, didn't want to give it me, even though I'd have took that on the chin, it would have been too bad, but yeah, they didn't give it me, and then straight away, I'm like, we could have done with that. Yeah, the track feels pretty slippy. Yeah, I think it feels good otherwise. The guys who were in front, Scott included, I, I just don't think I've got the measure of them, so yeah, see what see what Dylan can do. Yeah, I mean, Dylan's in now. What, what can he do? What do you reckon? Um, I think at, at the worst, he'll stay where we were. And I, but I think there's a chance he can he can get up there with a little bit of bad luck from somebody else, maybe. But I think if everybody does what they've already been doing, third's as good as it's going to get, I think. I think you'll probably need a cool down as well as uh, a cool down there because the, Scott, we saw, had a couple of issues, a spin at the link. Yeah, somebody's just running to the side of Scott. I think they've understeered into him some back marker or somebody, I'm not sure. But it's one of them things in multi-class racing. But it looks like he's got a, a ton of toe in on his rear wheel now, so it's really slowing him down. But... 
he'll keep going until end now. He's, as long as tyre don't fall off, he'll be fine. Well, Ryan, good luck for the rest of your race. Thank you very much. Well, I'm getting in the Swift next as well. You are as well. Yeah, I, I mean, the Swift's there. I mean, I was just going to ask you. I will try to find one of you at lunch. I but saw, I saw the live stream, but it were, it's a little bit delayed, so you'd gone by the time <laughs> we come back into the garage. But Looking forward to get behind the wheel of one of those? Yeah, yeah, and it was pretty good fun. Obviously, what we've got is faster, but when there's 30... Ca when there's 30 cars all going the same speed, it makes no difference. You still have a lot of fun. So, yeah, really looking forward to it. I think we might build one next year, maybe. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Well, good luck for that race as well, and good luck for this one. Yeah, thank you very much. It's one for one with me and Scott in them, so whoever wins takes the glory in the Swifts. Game on. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Cheers for that. Back to you in the commentary box. Times are still up there. That, yeah, that PCR, you're not far off that PCR time. Stop it. But he's not been in pitch yet. I'll let yeah. you know as soon as he's been in pitch. Stop it. It's gone really weird now over here. Really weird. Stop it. We've got a wheel ready for you, just try to keep back. Yeah. Are you there, Dylan? Yep. All good. Keeping clean air, just try and short shift for a bit, getting a bit off. Okay. So, just done my stint in the car. Felt pretty good. Wish we put a little bit more camera on. But, yeah, he did what he needed to do. Hung on there, some of the cars in front were just a bit quicker, and Scott just got a much better start and everything. So, yeah, is what it is. I think we should do all right. Somebody's banged into Scott and uh, caused a fair bit of damage to his car. Looks like uh, the rear wheel's towing him. We'll see about that after. Yeah. Not 100% happy just yet, but Dylan's in there. Seems to be doing all right. See how we get on up there. See what happens. Dylan Brickton now, number six. Where's Dylan up to in this race? He's in 15th position now. Of course, having served at stop and uh, in a pretty good place. And I think that's the BMW Compact that's in second place just up ahead, isn't it? Because they weren't very close together on trap, so trap so Brickton is keeping good pace with the uh, with the two leading cars by the looks of it. Where's Dylan and Ryan? 12th at the minute, they're not far from fuel. Coffee. What's their pace like? Exact same as yours. I'm doing his last lap was a 130. Like it's just traffic. Yeah. He's in, he's in. Mal, that, he's in. That white TCR. Stop it.
So this looks like the battle now, doesn't it? There is Major, uh, or Middleton I should say, and there is Brichter right behind him. Major in the white Seat, Brichter in the black Audi, the black and red Audi, the dark side developments car number six. So this is the battle for the lead and that's gone down by another second on the lap to 1.6 seconds markers. And it looks like Brichter's going to take advantage of that, he is more experienced. He outside, didn't he? He has, he's done quite a few Burkitt relay races as well, I seem to remember Dylan Brichter and he has gone through to take the lead of the race then. So Dylan Brichter, Brichter and Ryan Parkin sharing that car. It's now Brichter in the lead of the race. Major and Middleton down into second. Dylan's in first! Oh. Where do you think your Uncle Scott's going to come? Third of Cooper, we... Yeah, you have to, just keep pushing on. Yeah, yeah, you've got past him, just keep pushing on, dude. Yeah, I got a BMW in front of me, he's defending fresh air. Okay. How long left? 37 minutes remaining. Oh, it's like ages. To what Scott Parkin is doing. He's in fourth place. So it's hard to see that Scott Parkin is going to make up too much ground. I mean, interestingly, he's 23 seconds behind, and of course, he had the 30 second uh, pit stop penalty uh, to serve. And uh, if it wasn't for that, he'd have been leading this race. So, uh, yeah, to show that the pit stop penalty system was a good job of mixing up the, uh, the likely race winners. Safety car, safety car. Yep, are we all on the same lap? Yeah. Telling me to go round him. No, I telling me to go round him. I'm guessing right uh Scotty's gonna be right behind us now after this safety car. Yeah, you like the top four, the top four the really cool. So it's probably gonna be a fairly intense last. 10 minutes. Why have they stopped at me? They've stopped at me. What do you mean? They've let everybody, they've let everybody else ride that's set for me. They think that I'm fleet car. Yeah. He's letting me ride. 
a safety car has gone in now, I think. Uh, and so we're about to get underway. So it's going to be Dylan Brichter leading. The car in the second is Simon Major, who is about sixth in the queue, I think. But the one that we want to watch, I think, is probably Scott Parkin, who is a bit further back. Yeah, That's the 82 car of uh, Ben Williams now coming through. He's just ahead of them. And this is sort of a battle for 7th, 8th, ninth position, something like that as well. Very interesting race situation that's developed here. Scott Parkin is at the rear of that group. There's the leader, his brother's car now driven by Dylan Brichter. And here comes Scott Parkin, he's going to try and make up some more ground down the straight, if he can get past uh, Alaki Engar's uh, number 25, Cupra. They're not too and far there behind. Is Parkin. Scott Parkin. And Middleton here is under pressure now from Saunders, who was almost alongside. So you've got the two sets, you've got a third Seat as well. Parkin using the diesel torque. Here he comes up the. Uh... He's got right with them, they're all together. This is the battle of the second base. Yeah, and he's got past that number 92 car, which is a lap down. So three cars together for second. Dylan Brichter is nine seconds or so up the road. Oh, he is getting a bit dodgy. Copy. Just on fastest lap, then you, you, you did a 112, not everybody was doing 
corner for the bottom. Ooh, almost a touch there between the second and third place cars, Marcus. Stop it. Oh, Generally man. Damage. Yeah, it's all over the place. Point to the circuit where... Oh, a, a whack from the... Uh, guy. He was trying to get out of the way. Not trying to get out of the way. He overreacted to yeah. um, to Saunders uh, and then sideswiped Parkin. Yeah, Brillo Costa that was in the number 82 car. Uh, hopefully it's not caused damage to Parkin's uh, car. Well, Parkin's car is now under attack again. But um, from from Middleton, who's down alongside and is going past yeah. it, so I wonder if it's uh, not the tracking maybe on the Audi. It could well have done. Um, perhaps there could have been slightly more situational awareness there. Parking way, way wide there. You do wonder if there is some damage. A tracking issue. A tracking issue. It's uh, not. Or a tyre going down or something like that. It might, might have cut a, a tyre. Yeah, either way, the handling is deteriorating. There's eight minutes left to go. Absolutely, but he's had grandstand views of, um, and, and Littleton's just gone off the circuit here at, uh, at Abbey. He's ran wide and he's hopped back on. So he lost the place to park, and as a result, he has. Tell me what position I'm in after a couple of laps. What position am I? Stop it. Three, you third. If I've ever wanted a race called early today. Not half, I'm f***ing stressed as as they go down to Melbourne, they've got a lot of cars, including that number 82 car, Bruno Costa, ahead of them. And the trouble for car, Alan Blanco, is all over the gravel uh, at Fail. That sends Scott Parkin very wide at Club Corner, not to get an advantage, but just to get out of the way. And, yep, what was 1.4 seconds, now 0.4 seconds. down to zero. We'll see the chequered flag to win the Tequila Club Enduro Championship here at Silverstone by a convincing margin in the end. Oh, 
Fucking get in, mate. What a fucking drive. Jesus Christ. Yeah, five cars on the lead lap, headed by number six, Dylan Brickter and Ryan Parkin. 89 laps completed for them. 34, uh, Greg Sorda was second, 11.8 seconds behind. And third was number one, Scott Parkin. One free. Yes. So we've just got the drivers now heading in after that club enduro. We've got Dylan Brickter, our winner here. Dylan, come forward, otherwise you might, uh, you might see the wrong end of a car. Dylan, congratulations uh, on the victory there. Uh, uh, talk us through it because uh, obviously that was a, a long hard race that felt really long that felt really long like I thought after the safety car I thought maybe if the safety car stays out then I'll just sit there and win the race like that but then safety car went in I think there was some uh, lapped cars in between me and second which probably helped create a gap but yeah that felt really long at the end there it was like 15 minutes still and I was like trying to wish for the race to end or something but yeah no the car was perfect the guys have done such a lot of work in preparation for today uh they really have like spent so many nights doing this so uh hopefully scotty got a good result as well and then for the team this is mega for us absolutely pictured there because your team jumping all over you four or five team members yeah. jumping all over you as well yeah they've really uh they've really worked so hard for this so it's good for them and then i got some uh, I got my sister and her her team here supporting me, my parents, so everyone's turned out. So it's a perfect weekend now. And it's a good first in from Ryan as well. Uh, how much of that did that play a part? From Ryan, yeah, no, that was uh, that was spot on. That's exactly what we wanted. We thought maybe an ultimate pace. We were just kind of half a, half a second off first and second. But over a two hour race, it's, it's your average pace that counts. And uh, we managed to uh, manage that pretty well. Great stuff, Dylan. I'll let you get hydrated. Go celebrate with your team. You've earned that one. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dylan. This is bent. If you can see. I did it. Hit that wheel. Has it damaged tire? It's tire worn out from it. Can't have done that much to it, can it? No, it's definitely towing out. Oh, is it towed out? Yeah, it's towed out. Right. I don't know why I've only gone around. I'm not going to tow it in, but.